there, I'm Amy Palma. I'm a social media video producer and TV journalist, and I'm here with my friend Dan. Hi, I'm Dan Gretsch. I'm the founder and CEO of BizHack Academy. Dan teaches these awesome digital marketing classes, which I just took and absolutely loved and learned so much. And we started chatting about how can we look better on our Zoom calls and social media videos. My and big problem is I'm a big guy and I always have this sheen of sweat. I look like Matthew McConaughey whenever I'm online. Yeah, I need you to give me a man makeover. I need to get this sheen so that I'm not quite so shiny and I just want to look at my prepared best whenever I'm teaching online. There's a couple important things. Number one, the most important thing is lighting. And number two, powder to cut the shine. Very simple. And in about five minutes, we're going to have them looking... 10 years younger and without any shine. All right, now listen, I don't wear makeup usually, <laughs> so make sure this is very manly. It's gonna be very to manly, okay. very natural. Okay. Now guys, don't get scared. Whenever <laughs> men hear about wearing makeup, they freak out. No ah! mascara, no plucked <laughs> eyebrows, right? They're not gonna have any. So the idea when doing man's makeup is it's supposed to look totally natural, like you're not wearing any makeup. Just try it one time, you'll see how much better you look. And if you don't like it, you can just Wash your face and no one will ever know. And we won't <laughs> tell anyone. Step one is either wash your face, use a baby wipe. Wipe right. off any sweat let's or get, oil. Let's get that oil and sheen off. Step two is the powder. Um, I'm going to start with the Studio Fix just because it makes more of a dramatic impact. So you can either use a brush or a sponge. You go like this, you swirl it around, kind of in circles, and then tap, 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 tap. Okay, and then you're gonna go in circles. And see how I'm going around in circles? Just come up like this. Remember the Karate Kid, how he went wax on, wax off in circles and kind of buffed the car? Well, it's basically that technique. Going in circles is what really blends it and makes it soft. My wife is gonna get a kick out of this. So will my daughter. They can come watch if they want. You want your daughter to help you? That would be cute. <laughs> that would be. It's also good to. Go just a teeny bit down the neck too, unless you have a white shirt on, then you don't want to do that because the kiss of death in man makeup is seeing that line of makeup on the collar, then everyone knows you have makeup on, so you don't want that. The area is this area up here because the light always hits the, uh, you know, entradas, right? Entradas, they call them, or the, any, any time you have like the a receding. The widow's peak, yeah, the receding hairline. Look at this. Circle, tap, tap, tap in. and then let me go on the other side. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. And you want to go kind of like bigger circles. Got uh, it. Kind of press in. Right. Like you're buffing, like you're waxing. Um, oh, it's like I'm in a car wash. Woo! Right. Going, going nice and... Like you're waxing the car. Yeah, I'm getting nice and waxed. This right. isn't as bad as I thought. It's really not. And do a little bit right here, too. Got it. Okay, and most important areas are nose, um, hairline, forehead. You haven't trained me, but this is what I do. I just like yeah. do that, mm -hmm. and then I just kind of. That's do another that. way. Mm -hmm. That's another way of doing it. And then just do that, and you can kind of see after you kind of went. You can see when you put it on, you can see it, and then when you brush it in, you can't see it anymore. And that's right. You, know you want to blend like, it. Yeah, it's blended in. And then every once in a while, you want to throw this out and get a new one. You can just buy a pack at the drugstore. Oh, okay. Or you can use a disposable sponge like this. Got it. Because Step three is hair. Now the main thing with hair is you just don't want to have any, these little things here are called flyaways. I don't know if you can see them. They're like little tiny hairs, which nobody ever sees, except when you shine a light on it. Just spray a little hairspray on a brush and then just kind of brush it. Spray it on your hand and then you just kind of lightly go we actually have lights on one, two, we have three lights. The most important light is the light in front of you. If you don't have a light in your house, you can stand by a window. Um, and you always want to face the window and have the camera shooting this way. And natural light is the best light. The problem with natural light is uh, it's not always sunny out. I got uh, newer lights, uh, N-E-E-W-E-R. And I have them uh, kind of around me because if I don't have this light on, um, what you'll see is now half of my face is in shadow. And if I don't have this one on either, what will happen is it'll have a, a shadow on the chin. So unfortunately, you really need 
the surrounding lightning, lighting and a little bit of under lighting uh, to kind of get the shadow out from under the chin. Um, and I'll turn this off. And so this is now the light in the room and you can see not only, but I have a window right there. So now half my face is in shadow, uh, the other half is lit. It's kind of light, right, lighting on top. It just doesn't look nearly as good. Lighting from the top is the worst. It creates um, shadows under your eyes. It makes it look like you have bags under your eyes. Hello. So this is step five, removing the makeup, also known as getting this shit off my face. And so I just, what do I do? Just kind of wipe along like this? Yep. And uh, you know, the recommendation is that you use a baby wipe with a little bit of makeup remover because just washing your face could leave some of the powder on your face. And if you leave it on overnight, you can get uh, acne or just a little bit of skin irritation. So it's important to get it all off. You don't want to go to bed with it on still. So. 